Welcome to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 5-19 from RC Repeller Engineering Static Twelve Edition. According to this problem, we have to compare the force exerted on the two and heels of a 120 LB woman when she is wearing a regular shoes and when she is wearing stiletto heels. Assumption is that all her weight is placed on one foot and we have two reactions generated at points A and B for each of the condition. So if we consider normal shoes then we have two reactions from the floor at point A and B for point B we have this reaction let's label them let's call this R A and this one R B. So if I consider normal shoes first of all we have to apply the equations of the equilibrium since there are no forces in the horizontal direction so we will not consider some of the forces in the x direction we will consider the sum of the forces in the y direction should be equal to zero for the equilibrium to be achieved i am considering up direction positive so we have r a plus r b minus 120 equals to zero from here r a plus R B it's equals to 120 LBs this is our first equation since there are two unknowns involved in this equation so we need one more equation one more equation will be formed by applying the sum of the movements at one of these two points so you can either consider the point A or the point B for sum of the moments equation so sum of the moments if I consider point A is equal to 0 and clockwise movement is taken as positive then RA will not produce any movement about point A because it is passing through point A so there is no movement arm for the force RA. The 120 LB force is trying to rotate in clockwise fashion. So it is 120 into 1.25 the movement arm and the RB reaction force is trying to rotate in counterclockwise direction. So it is taken as negative RB. Now the movement arm will be 1.25 plus this 5.75 inch is equals to 0 so from here RB can be written as 1.25 plus 5.75 divided by 120 into 1.25 so RB is equals to 21.42 LB if I put this value of RB into equation 1 then from here RA is equal to 120 minus 21.42 so RA is equal to 98.57 LB so this was our first condition if the woman is wearing the normal shoes now for the second condition when she is wearing the stiletto heels if I zoom out first of all let's draw the reactions so same we have two reactions from the floor one at point A and one at point B let's also label them this is 
let's call this because we have used the letter R so let's call this F B and this and this one F A so if I clearly draw it then this one is R B and uh, this is R A So again we have to do the same process we have to use the equation the equilibrium equation for the vertical forces and then we have to find the moment across one of these two points so if I zoom out then we have for stiletto heels some of the forces in the y directions are equal to 0 I am taking up direction as positive then we have this is FA FA plus FB minus 120 is equal to 0 so from here FA plus FB are equal to 120 LBs so this is our equation 2 again since two cons two variables are involved so we need another equation so another equ equation will be formed by some of the movements about one of these two points so this FA force will not produce any movement about this point because it is passing through this point and there is no moment arm generated so 120 LB force is trying to rotate the shoe in clockwise fashion so it is 120 positive and the moment arm the moment arm is 0 0.75 inch so it is 0 0.75 now FB force is trying to rotate in counterclockwise direction so it is negative FB and 0 0.75 plus 3.75 are equals to 0 so from here FB is equal to 20 LBs and if I put this FB force into equation 2 then FA is equal to 100 LB so this is the answer for the second condition and this is the end of the video so I hope you will find this video helpful if you do please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and I already have uploaded the solutions of the chapter 2, 3, 4 from this same book so you can also check them out. Thank you.